morning everyone today we will discuss about the uh, different kind of the business process uh, before uh, going to the SAP MM you, sh you should know about the business process uh, like how we are buying the goods the different ways of the buying and the different activities we are performing the SAP MM material management okay so these uh, all the business process you should know about that before going to learning the SAP MM okay let's see what are the business process we have oh, the common business process which SAP provided that that we call the as P2P process what do you mean by what do you mean by P2P process P2P process is nothing but like a procurement to pay okay so this is the basic business process which you should know about when going to the SAP MM if you want to uh, planning to uh, learn SAP MM or you want to work in the SAP MM okay you should know about the procurement to pay process how it is going on okay what do you mean by procurement to pay so the procurement to pay is nothing but like a procuring the goods from the vendor okay the process how you started in the generally in the business side and how you are paying so what are the parameters you are verifying that before that paying to the vendor okay so uh, let's go to procurement to pay process so the first step we have to identify the requirement so obviously you should know what you want okay. so identify the requirement it might be the uh, usual requirement or it may be the collective requirement or it might be from the process order or it might be from the maintenance order or it might be from the customer order or it might be from the cost center whatever may be so you identify the requirement what is the what exactly you required so let's say suppose I need material A okay, or the quantity which I need thousand pieces and the plant is let's say it's Hyderabad plant okay so this is the basic requirement I have I want thousand pieces of material okay to uh, Hyderabad plant and when you require uh, let's say the delivery date also can mention that okay I need uh, might be on uh, next uh, might be 15 zero five and 2000 22 so May 15th I need this material so so this is my requirement so you identify that okay this is my requirement so uh, might be the the requirement might be you will get from the plan orders or it might be you will get from the sales orders or it might be you will get from the project order so what are there are so many ways we can get the order Okay, the requirement will get it so some cases so some industries they will call as intent some industries they will call as a or a requirement requisitions like so when you receive this requirement what we will create generally purchase requisition in SAP purchase requisition is not but like a okay whatever the, the requirement which you identified which you required in your organization so that's we will call as a purchase requisition okay now let's go to the step two okay so I need material A but I don't know which vendor I need to select so you need to be identified that who will be the source of the supply that means generally we call as a vendor okay source of supply or vendor both are the, the same okay source of supply uh, you need to be identified so let's say assume that I have five vendors in the society or in the by uh, near to my plant I have five vendors so what I can do I send that request for quotation so why because I don't know what is the price they can and whether they can supply these goods or whether they can supply uh, with the price what is the price and freight cost everything so you generally sending the request for quotation to the these five vendors you are asking that okay send me your quotation the price quotation so that I can compare those quotations from these vendors and I can decide that who will be the best vendor for these goods so I sent my request for quotation with reference to purchase request I created 
which I send to vendors, five vendors. Then, once I received the quotation from different vendors. So, uh, when you are uh, creating RFQ, you are giving that your deadline as well. So, uh, because I cannot wait long time, right? So, obviously, you have to uh, provide your deadline. Okay, this is the uh, you just informed that before uh, um, two days or maybe after two days or three days or before two days. Okay, there will be some deadline. Okay, let's assume that the deadline is reached and we received the quotation from the five vendors. So I just maintain that each and every quotation from the each vendor. Okay, and I have maintained the prices, whatever the prices they given, and the provided price components like freight charges, discount, and whatever the surcharges, whatever it may be. We have price components. Those everything I maintain in the quotation. Now. I have the uh, quotations which I received from the vendors. Now I have to compare that. So price comparison. Okay. So whatever we received from the above quotations, so I'm just comparing that the prices and when they can deliver and the, everything, the parameters and everything, okay, payment terms, everything, I just comparing that here. And uh, finally I decided that, okay, uh, some vendor X is a vendor X is a my best vendor is my best and vendor. Okay. So, so as of now, if you see that this is the requisition and the step two and three and four, these three are belongs to the identification of the source. Who will be the source of supply? So finally, I got that vendor X is the, my source of supply. That means he is a perfect for my product. He is supplying to me. Now, so now with reference to these quotations, and we can reject and we can accept the quotations, and we can send those acknowledgement information and all this information to the vendors. So you have the option like rejection and acceptance both. Now, so I got that vendor X is my best vendor. Now let's go to that. The next is the legal document which is purchasing order. So as of now, if you see that this PR is the internal document. Internal document. The reason why because uh, it is uh, internally we discuss with our. Uh, departments or it might be from the our orders or something like we prepare this internal document and RFQ and quotations all these all we are getting from the outside or we are sending to the outside so these are all we call as external documents so the purchase order also we consider this is the external document and and moreover moreover it is a moreover it is legal document once you order means you are legally accepting the all the terms which you which you are uh, mentioning in the purchase order those are all we consider a legal document which is accepted okay now in this purchase order i have mentioning that okay i need material a quantity thousand plan under the delivery date everything i have mentioned and i created a purchase order okay the next step is purchase order monitoring so monitoring is nothing but like uh, I, I just need to get the uh, acknowledgement from the vendor and I just want to follow up with the vendor and I just send the reminder mails if and I just uh, whatever uh, you just follow up to the vendor okay, this is the monitoring whether they are sending and shipping notifications everything we just going to purchase order monitoring and uh, the next one is Goods received. So finally, we received a goods received. Okay, that means we received a goods from vendor, and we are receiving that in the, our organization that we are mapping into has a goods received in SAP. Okay, then we are creating 
vendor invoice which we received from vendor okay, and we are validating that whether uh, the invoice which is matching with the, our purchase order price and goods receipt price so that we generally uh, three way matching we call it a three way matching so three way matching is nothing but like a whatever you agreed in the po price and whatever you received in the goods receipt quantity and whatever the invoice which is matching or not the price and quantity everything it is matching or not okay. then once you are accepted the vendor invoice from our end okay the goods are we received and the price everything it is correct and the tax values everything is matching then you are accepting that vendor invoice then finance team they will pay payment process to the vendor so, so the procurement to pay cycle will be started with the identification of the requirements and ending with the once the payment is done, payment process and paid to vendor. So this is a common business process wherever it is there. So uh, when you see that this document to pay process, it is not necessary every step every time. Might be uh, I know the source of supply some cases, so then I can go directly PO. Okay, so I don't want to create the RFQs, I don't want to be receive the quotations, and I don't want to be compared the prices. Why? Because I already know about the vendor, he's my fixed vendor. So, those cases we don't require uh, to uh, create the RFQs, quotations, and price comparison. Okay, some cases, okay, uh, might be you don't know source of supply, okay, then you have to create the RFQs, quotation, and compare the process. Uh, some cases, how it will be like, we have the long-term contracts with the vendors, okay, so those agreements, we can directly create the purchase orders with reference to the agreement, okay, so the long-term agreements. So, there are so many cases we have in SAP even in the business process. So how SAP is mapping this all process? So they are uh, identified that, okay, these are the process we have in the our company or businesses. So this is our common business process. Might be some business process have a different, different businesses have a different, different business process. But okay, it, these are the common business process. So regularly, there's so many cases they are using. So that's why SAP provided that okay, this is a common business standard business process we generally using in the most of the businesses. So that way we call it as a procure to pay. Hope you understand the procurement to pay. Thank you.